infrastructure, and that is why I urge support for my SOP. I call Simon O'Connor. Thank you very much. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah, that I've been called above others, but uh, look, I'm very pleased to take what I hope is the first of several uh, calls. I'm sure the uh, whip, Karen McNulty, is thrilled to have myself along with Chris Pank standing here again uh, on this one to discuss the Land Transport Management Regional Fuel Tax Amendment uh, Bill, and in particular a tabled amendment in my name. Uh, most recently. Look, this is uh, part one, this is the, the meat of the bill, and I don't intend, Madam Chair, to in effect uh, go into the, the wider um, issues. It will be no surprise to this House and certainly to my own constituents uh, that I'm opposed to this bill in its uh, whole. But I want to turn my attention in effect to how the uh, tax scheme will affect uh, the Auckland region, in particular a suggestion in my tabled amendment of how that may uh, impact and affect uh, the good people of Tamaki for whom I uh, represent. Um, as context, the people of Tamaki pay, in effect, uh, the highest amount of, of rates in Auckland um, already. Now, I know this is a government bill, but the context is important. They already pay an enormous amount of uh, rates. Uh, strangely enough, although not completely misunderstood, uh, particularly with the left-wing council, that they get basically very little of that money back. We also have a council, of course, that have then gone and put fuel taxes on, uh, along with other levies to come. And so the context then is we have this government bill seeking to put even more, even more, Madam Chair, uh, taxes onto the good and hard-working people um, of Tamaki. In a recent survey done, granted by council, but around fuel taxes, and in many ways to the people of Tamaki, as I'm sure those of Auckland and all of New Zealand, they're not too fussed if it's the government or the council putting the levy or the tax on. It's just an added uh, cost to their life. And the good people of Tamaki spoke with a very strong voice that they did not want more fuel taxes. They do not want the government's regional fuel tax. They do not want the council's fuel tax. So as I was preparing a table amendment, my, my first suggestion was going to be uh, around Clause 5 and inserting a section around 65, uh, probably 65E, asking that actually Tamaki as a geographical region be exempt. Um, I thought that was a, a good idea. In fact, you know, it often pops up in this House that different groups try to, to make exemptions for their, their area. Well, Tamaki is a very well defined uh, area, and I just thought we could be exempt. In fact, I'd like to go further. We'd like to be exempt from a whole lot of things, actually, mainly the government um, in general. Uh, we, 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 we can't. There are actually four people in my electorate, uh, Labour voters, were keen to remain uh, within government. I, I'm not so. But I, I didn't think that was constructive. Four, it, is, it might be an exaggeration. It might be mixed up with some New Zealand first. But um, as I say, the first thought I had was to actually ask that the uh, regional fuel tax not apply uh, to the people of, of Tamaki. I decided to not go down that route. I thought I would attempt to be. Uh, attempt to be constructive. I, I do have some respect for the Minister in the Chair, uh, and so it is in a, a spirit of concord and assistance that instead I changed the table amendment, uh, that if this regional fuel tax goes ahead, God forbid, that actually some of that money will be put aside to fund a comprehensive upgrade of Tamaki Drive. Now, members... Here will know, certainly my constituents know, for the last few years I have been pushing incredibly hard uh, through a petition and otherwise for an upgrade, a comprehensive upgrade of Tamaki Drive. Many in this House, I'm sure, have come up. It's the best road. It, well, the road itself is pretty appalling, but in terms of the view from the road, uh, it's quite remarkable. It's absolutely uh, stunning. In fact, I might just throw a quick line into Auckland Transport. Please don't use Tamaki Drive as a bus park. But I thought in the spirit of uh, cooperation, that I would suggest to the Minister that he may just receive some support uh, from the good, hard-working voters of Tamaki for this further imposed regional fuel tax scheme. Uh, if he commits tonight uh, to fund a comprehensive upgrade of Tamaki Drive, the Minister will be delighted. I'm, I'm sure he is just beside himself with joy at the moment to know that there is a very good plan in place uh, for Tamaki Drive. The implementation of the regional fuel tax would be relatively easy. This is not unplanned. It is uncosted, uh, but I'm relatively confident, Madam Chair, with the huge amount of money that this regional fuel tax is going to draw in, that in fact Tamaki Drive will be well upgraded for all people who use it, from the buses to the roads to the cyclists to the walkers to the mums with the perambulators and those who wish to go for a pericobobulation at this time of the day. <laughs> Pericobobulation for Hansard. Um, 
It's a way forward, Minister. I hope you would consider it. Look, the people of Tamaki are generally not friends of the Labor Party, but you might just buy one extra vote in Tamaki by supporting this table amendment. <laughs> Madam, uh, I call Jan Tanetti. I move that the question be now put. Uh, I call Stuart Smith. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, Madam Chair, it's my first call in this, uh, which I've, I hope I get.